to the iCafe Studio. I'm Robin Rivnett. Today we're going to take a look at how to share a OneNote notebook. To do so, you need to first open up your notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and choose to open up OneNote. I had it already open on my taskbar, but if you need to open up OneNote yourself, you can simply do that by going to Start, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and then choosing Microsoft OneNote 2013. Once Microsoft OneNote opens up, you are, to share a notebook, you're simply going to choose the notebook you wish to share. So in this case, I'm going to choose the iCafe Studio. I'm then going to select File. And then I'm going to move down to choose the option, option that says Share. When I select Share, I have the option to invite other people. And then on the right-hand side where it says Invite People, I simply type the names or the email addresses of those that I want to invite. So for this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to invite Jennifer Mitchell. So I'm going to do a search for Jennifer and I'm going to look for her in the address book. And so I'm going to choose Jennifer Mitchell and say OK. And then I can continue to share with others. So in this one also it will share it with Jessica Dyer. So I'm going to again choose Jessica. I'm going to choose a little people to choose the right Jessica in the address book. And I'm going to select Jessica Dyer. Okay, so now I've invited these two ladies to collaborate in this notebook with me and I can send them a personal message. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey guys, um, let's work, uh, let's work in this notebook together. And this message will basically be sent to them in their email. Um, I can choose to require them to sign in before accessing the document or I can deselect this and this way they don't have to sign in to actually access that notebook. That's just a personal preference. And then I'm just going to select share. When I do this, it's actually sending them an email. So Jessica and Jennifer both are going to receive an email in their Outlook inbox that says that I have shared a notebook with them and it will actually give them the name of that notebook, um, iCafe, and they will began to be able to work with me inside this notebook. When I shared with them, I gave them specific access to edit the notebook. And this is something I didn't mention a mo moment ago, but let's say, for example, I also wanted to share this notebook. Now I changed my mind. I also want to share it with, uh, let's say I want to share it with David Squires. So I'm going to do a search for David. I'm going to find David Squires in the list. Um, and here he is. And I can choose to add him, but let's say I don't want David to be able to actually edit the notebook. I just want him to be able to see what we have done in the notebook. So he's not going to actually be able to change anything, just actually view the collaboration amongst me, Jessica, and Jennifer here. So I could type him a message up here as well, and I'm not going to type him one. And then I could also click share, and it's going to share with Dave as well, but he is only going to be able to actually uh, view that notebook. And that's it. That's how you share a notebook with your other colleagues. At any point in time, when you are working in OneNote, you want to see who ha you have shared with, you always can come to the Share menu and look down at the bottom to see who has access to the notebook. And then you can also see what kind of access they have. So I to own the notebook, and then David can view, and then Jennifer and Jessica can both edit that notebook. So that's OneNote sharing. Um, if you have any other questions or you want to learn more about how using OneNote, please check out some of our other videos in our series. Again, I'm Robin Rivnett coming to you from the iCafe studio.